we are disassembling all the way down to the case uh, 97 Suzuki Katana 600. Danny replaced the cylinder uh, or the uh, valve cover gasket yesterday and <clears throat> upon doing that we've discovered that the head gasket as well as the cylinder gasket are leaking very badly all onto the uh, front side of the motor and it's getting oil into the cylinders and blowing it out the tailpipe now too so we're just gonna have to do the work. You're gonna see a katana go from like an ugly duckling to a pristine stallion, okay? That's what's about to happen. It's gonna go broom fast. Broom, broom fast. <laughs> Hashtag broom fast. <laughs> Consult the manual, what's our next step? Signal generator cover, and after that say cam tensioner, and then cam chain guide, and then cam trap, and exhaust cam trap. So, right. so let's start with this cover over here. Oil. Oil down there. Oh, man. Looks like an ice gate. Looks like an ice gate in here. Oh, Ice ice baby baby. Can we change engine? So from here, we've got um, everything basically where we need it to go to get the camshafts out, but we want to get it set and it's uh we've got spark plugs out all that stuff so we're gonna get the thing at top dead center and by doing that you get over to the pickup road over here and you're gonna turn it until you line up some marks okay line the t mark on the signal generator rotor with the center of the pickup coil there first and foremost remove cam chain guide at the top of the motor and then crack, and then crack, and then we grab the cool T-handle tool, and then we spin. Fun. Last thing you want to do is drop any of these down in there, by the way. Well, we are back, and we did uh, take the cams out. We started with taking out the exhaust cam, and then, uh, you know, after the, uh, the tensioner's out, just ch uh, chain slack's pretty good. And uh, pull the uh, exhaust cam out first, and hang the chain off a piece of wire or something like that. And then uh, you can pull the, uh, the intake cam out, and you're ready to get down to the 12 bolts that are, there's actually nuts right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you'll <coughs> take those nuts off and you can start pulling up the head. You may use a little rubber mallet or something like that on this bike, 
you, you want to make sure you're not hitting any of the fins with the mallet. So when you're popping it up, and as you can see, we've kind of started getting it cracked open a little bit. We just started paying it, uh, popping it with the mallet a little bit. So we got a little gap there, and I'll set the camera up here in a second, and we'll pull this head off right now. There's RBT over this gasket. Well, maybe. Maybe just build up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. And now, fuck it. Straight up. Good morning, all. I've got my. coffee in the end. Oh, well, welcome back. Okay, so we're back on the Katana today. It's Sunday morning, and I came out here uh, to kind of get a look at what we were going to do today, and Danny had already done it. So when we left you yesterday, we were getting ready to pull the head and the cylinders off, and uh, I went and took a little R&R break, and Danny already got down to the head and cylinders, got all that off. When we put everything back on, he did a uh, he did drop the engine down and just pivoted it down, basically pivoting it off of this mount right here and disconnecting pretty much everything else, including all the, the cross member up here and all of that stuff. So when we put this all back together, we'll show you how we drop the engine out uh, or how Danny dropped the engine out because I wasn't even here. But we're going to go through and clean this entire thing. So that's what we're doing right now. We just got some rags and a little bit of... WD on it to get a lot of that oil and grease shit off and you can see we're gonna get this frame nice and clean We're gonna pretty this bike up. This thing's gonna be good as new when we're done with it. So Yeah, lots to lots to do